So, the bad news. When I made my previous video called Synth Mystery Shine on Your Crazy Diamond Revealed with a full demonstration that of the instruments that were actually used, I was wrong. The good news is that we made a step because we got a reaction, I got a reaction, a comment from a gentleman whom you may know and it's called John Karen. And now John Karen has been the musical director of Pink Floyd for almost the last 30 years, being responsible for keyboards, guitar, singing, and the sound of the band, including making a reconstruction of Shiny You Crazy Diamond Live. Now, what did he say in the comment? Hi there. There's no Hammond, no Taurus, and no Selena chords in the Shine On intro, and very little reverb, lovely attempt, fortunately, uh, but not close. Also, the book you re reference to, which is this one, is wildly inaccurate. Hmm, that was quite a blow. Um, but fortunately, he, he gave some more pointers for me. So what he said is with the Solina, you don't play chords. You only play single lines. Now that takes me to the, to the next point is why did I do that? Because I needed it to really create that orchestral feel. And a few of you also commented on the wine glasses. Now, I thought the wine glasses were just some sort of sound effects um, on the tune. Uh, and there I was also completely wrong because a friend of mine pointed me to um, a recording that's actually on YouTube of the wine glasses. And... Uh, well, let's have a listen to it. This is what the band recorded. I'll solo it as part of their household project. Listen to this. This is already in G minor, the intro of Shine On You Crazy Diamond. which I simply didn't know and know by now. Um, then you have the bass line and also there John Karen said, and I, I don't know fully understand what he means, but what he said is it's a group effort. So there is much more going on than just the Taurus. Actually, there is no Taurus in there. Um, no Hammond, uh, but I do believe, but I'm uh, more a little bit more uncertain now, and it's probably a Farfisa. Well, let's have a listen to what I made with the Solina lines, solo lines as opposed to chords. A little bit of Farfisa and a little bit of bass from the Mini Moog. As you can hear, it's even closer to the original. Um, I have still a Fafisa in there, which sounds like this. And the key question is whether we really need this. It's it's not that loud in the mix. And I think I'm still overdoing it, listening to it now with the uh, delay and reverb on the, on the Mini Moog. Um, but more interesting is how fascinating it is that this trial with household objects uh, playing with the wine glasses um, created one of the icon most iconic sounds and songs of Pink Floyd. 
So we know by now, no Taurus, no Hammond, maybe Farfisa, big roll of the wine glasses. Let's see where this takes us. Uh, and again, my sincere apologies for uh, getting it completely wrong.